This world is in danger for plans. Not because of the people who are, are pure evil. But because of the people who have refused to do something about it. We see ourselves as something separate from the rest. As something different from the whole. This is an optional delusion of our consciousness. This makes a barrier between us and the other living beings on this planet. The other earthlings, the other animals. Anima, so breathing life. Animals are meaning living creatures. Is that of not living things? Like plants. Plants have now a central nervous system, they don't can breathe, they turn uh, carbon into oxygen. So they are can be uh, cloned by cutting pieces of them. If you are cut, if you take my arm and you cut my arm off, it don't grow another me. Serious. If you are put a leg from a sheep, from a sheep, there don't grow another sheep. Don't go Rita. Art. On me. Injustice. Rian feels himself when you are watching things from the victim's point of view. The our task is. To free ourselves from our psychological narcissism, are believing that we or our species is the most important thing on this planet. The first step to do that is to recognize that we are not important, we are just passengers on this giant bow of stone and magma and water. And trees and other matter and not the crew the crew are bacteria the crew are plants the phytoplanktons phytoplanktons produce most of the oxygen of one planet other member of the crew are insects like bees butterflies and even wasps butterflies are also crew we, we are just passengers. We are not important for the ecosystem. We have to break free from this anthropocentric mindset. An anthropocentric mindset is a mindset of, that we are on the center of the creation, that we are the most evolved, that we are the most special, most holy thing on planet. We are letting ourselves believe that most often. Simple because our society tells us that. The doctrine of anthropocentrism, anthros meaning man, Latin for our species, and also Old English for our species. The species we belong to. We are pretty self-deluded. The first reason is that we are decided that we are literally are calling our species humane, which comes from the Latin word humanus. The word human and humane. Before the 19th century were used interchangeable. Later it changed to um, make one to be like man, like man, like a human, humane. But before it just means kind. Before that, you did use the word mankind for our species. Why uh, in old English they did call the female a with with man with man. Men were called wear men. You see it today still in words like 
Werewolf. Man wolf. Male wolf, actually. So actually a female werewolf should be called not a female werewolf. It should be called a weave wolf. Think about it. That's more etymology-wise correct. And I say screw the populists. Because they're ruling so much. Etymology is so important to create order. Because then anybody knows where anybody's talking about. I like order. I don't like chaotic idiotic crazy. I don't follow blindly orders. I'm a very logical person. And I don't fire my species or my life even or the life of all other living beings. I am an earthling first and foremost and I support which supports the earth and the other earthlings first and foremost. My old species comes on last place. Why? Uh, we are violating the three laws of ecology. How are far more important than the silly law that we call law. Man's law. The first one of the ecology the true first true law is that there is a limited in finite resources. That means that the capitalist system should be put on cadence so we don't use too much resources. And also that means population control is necessary, specifically of all species. Our species takes up around the animals that we are, that people eat, and the and the animals that are ourselves take around on the moment ninety eight percent of the biomass with extension the zoo mass. Our species is of that around four. 40, uh, 30 to 40 percent. So, do the math, people. The time that we are learn to live in harmony is that of that we live like cankerers, like uh, dictators. It is time that we are learning humility. It is time that we are. Stop with being bigots, because you know, bigots are people who refuse to reason. Fools are people who don't can reason. And slaves are the ones who are afraid to reason. So are you a slave from a violent dictator that oppresses others? Or you become you a revolutionary? Beca do you become the next Malcolm X for animal rights instead of for black people right in the US? Because if you want to stop racism, I want to say to you, you first must stop speciesism, anthropocentrism. Carnism, because that's are the root of it all. When you have a little child and you actually learn that child from a young age that all living beings are equal to them, that they are not inferior, that be just because they don't can speak their language, they can do other stuff that make them in a more equal way to them. For example, you can uh, not smell as good as um, a pig. A pig can smell 
uh, mushrooms that they are in the ground, even if they are poisoned or not. Um, their nose is far superior to your nose. It should look like just like the nose of a dog. So, the the ears and the the uh, the ears of the of a horse are also very strong, and they are very sensitive and can also uh, you can also learn them a lot of stuff. And they are very trustworthy. I think being trustworthy is more important than can um, to do the math that um, that make people like Einstein a genius. I think that compassion is a far better criteria to cultivate. Uh, for, for consideration of um, Faro than a high IQ or must I say MQ manipulation quantity test quote the IQ test like we now know is mostly about manipulation this have nothing to do with be actually intelligence if you ask me, the, in, the definition of intelligence is living in harmony with the ecosystem, is strength of destroying it. By the way, let us talk further about the three laws of ecology. Um, like I said, there are is a limit of finite resources. There are, must be a diversity between life forms in a um, healthy or, uh, ecosystem to let it stay healthy. Um, and no species is on its own. All species, even your body, does exist out of many different organisms. You have bacteria that turn fiber into vitamins and minerals. You have, at least if you eat healthy, you have um, hormone. You have bacteria that make uh, that turn vibe also into happy hormones uh, hormones that make you happy like um, but not limited so endorphins and dopamine so people you have around in your gut thousands types of bacteria your body of around 40 trillion bacteria cells if you are around the weight of 70 that's a lot and without them you don't can digest your food you don't can do anything with it you have a terrible digesting system you will absorb nothing the three stages. First, it is mocked and ridiculed. Second, it is verbally opposed. People are going to lie and attack the messenger. Because people are not like to change, they like to be conservative schools. Anthropocentric, selfish, narrow-minded, conservatives. Because you can also look at it another way. If you are want to conserve the earth for the planet, then you are a truly good conservative. But, but when you are a conservative that only wants to protect and what in constant the selfish, apathetic, narrow-minded, delusional status quo, they are nothing more than puppet. Then you are a bigot, then you are a fool, or then you are a slave. A slave of your own mind. Are you to make a good decision? Go vegan. I say go, 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 go vegan. There's no excuse against veganism. And it does not matter if you care only about people. Because uh, any two seconds a child uh, from starvation, because you are force feeding it. 
animals so they uh, then are being transported to the west fattened up so that children die from starvation get a reality chair you are not a victim if you are not a victim you are the perpetrator and you can do something don't get offensive. You can go vegan. Like I have done around uh, more than 10 years ago. So, stop making excuses. Peace begins on the dim table. By what you eat on a daily basis. Eat a banana. Eat. Uh, mangoes, eat pepper crops, eat... But eat enough, also. Because uh, plant foods have often uh, less energy per bite than uh, animal flesh. Um, for example, one gram of uh, cheese, I have around five uh, calories, um, but an apple is less than one. Bran. Banana, nearly one per gram. Water content, includes the key mate, along with vitamins and minerals. When darkness and light become one, the reality splits in a way, and the truth become invisible. 